and welcome back to our channel. So today I'm so excited for this video because today I'm doing my current favorites and I don't think I've done this video like or a video like this on my channel before that's why I am super super excited so if you guys want to see what my current favorites are at the moment keep on watching okay so I have just this pink box here <coughs> full of my favorites right now so there's a couple beauty things I have like a book a TV show a song a youtuber fragrances everything like that so I thought that we should get started with the beauty section. So let's start off with the face products, which I'm gonna start with foundation. Foundation is one of my favorite beauty products because as you can probably have seen in previous videos, well, I'm wearing makeup right now, so it might not be super visible, but in previous videos, you may have seen that I have really problematic skin. I have a lot of acne, a lot of pores, and everything like that, and my skin is really bad. So foundation is one of my favorite beauty products as it does cover a lot of things when I want to have a little bit of coverage. So my two favorite foundations that I use right now, I actually mix them together. And I only recently started mixing them about a week ago and I've already fell in love. So one is high end and one is drugstore. The high end one is the MAC Studio Fix Fluid Foundation. This is in MW20 and it's a little dark for me at the moment because I bought this when I was really, really tan. And now I'm not super duper tan, so it's a little bit dark, so I like to use this as basically cream contour. So when I apply my foundation, I usually put this in places where I want to contour. My cheekbones, my jawline, my nose, things like that. Um, then after I take the drugstore foundation, this is the Rimmel London Match Perfection Foundation in 100 Ivory. I then apply this in any places that don't have foundation and I really want to highlight and bring out of my face. Um, I feel like with these foundations, you do have to move quickly. Um, because I feel like this one had already kind of set into the skin before I had even applied this one to the skin. So when I started blending, they weren't really blending as well, so make sure you do move fast. These are my two favorite foundations for basically the current moment. <laughs> okay, so let's go to the next thing I usually do for my face, concealer. My favorite is the Maybelline Instant Aging Eyes. I use this right in the inner corner of my eyes and it really brightens up my dark, my dark under eyes and really just basically makes me look wide awake. Um, something that I always put on top of my fan, um, on top of my concealer and my foundation, so nothing really slips over the slips anywhere throughout the day, is this powder. Um, it's the Savvy Perfect Finish Loose Powder. I use this powder for baking and just basically mattifying and setting the entire face. Then, after applying all of the face products. Um, like my foundation, concealer and powder, I go over with the Victoria's Secret Make It Last Pride and Set Makeup Spray. This is one of my absolute, absolute, absolute favourites for, it's been my favourite forever because usually after I apply powder I do look to tend to look a little bit cakey. So just spray this all over my face, it, set, it sets the powders and makes sure nothing's looking really cakey or blotchy and really lets the powders and all the foundation just sink into the skin for a minute. I absolutely love this and I'm dreading the moment that I run out because I have like this much left. The next thing I usually do after I do this, so my next favourite is the Savvy um, Classic Blush. This is in Plum and I absolutely love this colour for this time of year which is autumn. Um, but I usually use it all year round. This is just the perfect color for a nice flushed cheek look. It's not like too bright that you look like a clown and it's not too dark that you just look weird. Um, it's just a nice color and I love to use this all year round even though it's a plum color and most people wear plums for like winter or fall. So for this current time, I have three actually favorites. I have a Smashbox, an Essence, and a Be Indulged. So let's start with the Smashbox. Um, I got this in a little Smashbox, basically, favorites pack at Sephora when I was in America. And it just has three natural matte shades. And I'm a very good matte girl. I love a few matte colors, but then sometimes I do like to go for a sparkle. So this is perfect, but I just want a nice natural kind of eye look, but I don't want my glitter to be going all over the place. So I just go with this nice matte color. I'm not wearing it today, but it's just the perfect, perfect, perfect natural little eye trio. Um, the next product that I'm showing you is the Essence Quattro Eyeshadow Palette. I actually used this today and what I did is I took, this is in 17 Creme de la Creme, 
and I took this kind of peachy champagne colour and just put it all over the lid and then took this white kind of bone colour and just put it in the inner corner and underneath my brows and as you can see it's not too much, it's very natural but it still has that little bit of shimmer and a little bit of glitter to kind of lighten up my eyes and make them sparkle. Um, this is my absolute favourite because they're nice and natural and they have a little bit of sparkle in them. Um, the next and last eyeshadow product that I have is the Be Indulged Eyes Palette. This just has four eyeshadows like the Quattro one and it's very similar to the Quattro run. Quattro eyeshadow palette. All of these colours are shimmery so if you are a matte person I suggest you do stay away from this palette. Um, it just has a white colour, kind of like a pinky plum colour, a brown and then a gold brown and this is perfect for a nice natural shimmery eye. Um, so those are all of my favourite eye products at the moment. So now I'm going to move on to mascaras. I have two favourites. I have this little Smashbox Full Exposure Mascara. This is amazing and I use it every day and I, it's on my lashes right now. And it's only a sample product but it's amazing. And then my next favourite is usually for special occasions or when I'm doing a really glamorous look. And that is the Fifth Avenue Mascara. I absolutely love this because it makes my lashes look like I'm wearing extensions. And then on to lipsticks, the last beauty products. Um, you guys can probably guess this favourite, but this one has been featured in a few videos, but not many. This is the Essence Oh um, number. This is the Essence lipstick in number fifteen, Oh So Matte, and it's just a really nice matte colour. And I'm thinking of doing a Kylie Jenner tutorial soon, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to use this as the lipstick. And then my last beauty favourite is my Mac lipstick, and this is in. A55 Rebel, so if you guys ever have the chance to grab this, I swear you guys should grab it. This is a satin formula lipstick, so it does have a really nice sheen to it and a really nice gloss, so it doesn't really go matte and dry out your lips. But as you can see, I'm wearing it today and it's the most perfect colour. It looks really dark in the tube, but it actually comes off more of a pink on your lips. The next thing that I'm going to be showing you that is my favourite is my favourite fragrance at the moment. My favourite fragrance at the moment is the Victoria's Secret Bombshell Body Mist. This is just a little kind of travel size that I got from Victoria's Secret overseas, um, but it absolutely smells amazing and I absolutely love it. Oh my god, I cannot get enough of this. And so the big part that's in this box right now, the biggest thing that's in this box, and as you can hear, like I'm trying to pull it out and it's making all this racket, is my favourite book at the moment. Um, I've already finished this book, but it is still one of my absolute favourite books that I've ever read, and that is Tyler Oakley's Binge Book. Um, I just love it. All of his stories are amazing, and the way that he just tells them, it's so funny. And I'm actually like, he's gone through a lot of stuff in his life and he's still such an amazing person. And he's so like relatable. So if you guys have the chance to get your hands on this, I really suggest you do. Okay, so I've got three more things that are my favourite. I've got them on a little piece of paper right here because I don't actually have them like visible right now. Um, my favourite YouTuber at the moment... Tyler Oakley, ever since I've read his book Binge, I've been binge watching him on YouTube all the time. My favourite TV show at the moment, I only started watching it about two weeks ago or a week ago and that's Pretty Little Liars when I'm up to like the third episode because I feel like I have to watch it in daylight because it is such like a weird creepy show so I always have to watch it during the day otherwise I freak out. And my favourite song is Lost Boy by Ruth B at the moment. It is the best song and it's about Peter Pan. It reminds me of Disney and Disneyland. It's just the best song. So if you guys have the chance to buy it on iTunes, make sure you go get it. It's the best song and I've just fallen in love with it. I had it on Musical.ly and then I was like, I need to grab it. And so I got it and it's my favourite song at the moment. Okay, I guess those are all of my favourites. If you enjoyed this favourites video and want to see more, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and also hit that subscribe button to get notified every time we upload a new video. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed and see you guys next time. Bye!